The press has enjoyed a, a resurgence recently. I'd like to think that we had something to do about that with our introduction of the, the modern version of the press and starting strength. Uh, we see a lot of guys on the internet doing the press in strongman contests and in other uh, contexts in video on the web. And the first thing I always notice about these guys doing the press is the grip width. It is usually, most frequently, wrong because it is too wide. And let's look at why that would be uh, real quickly here. Chase, take a, a, a grip that's too wide, okay? This is common. You'll see a guy trying to take a grip that is essentially the same grip width as his bench press. And I guess the reasoning would be he's gonna press it and uh, this is the way I bench press, so this is the way I ought to press too. There are other mechanical considerations. Notice this distance here, okay? Take the bar out of the rack, Chase, with, uh, with this grip. Now, I want you to notice, just set it down nice and tight here. I want you to notice the distance between hand and shoulder. This is the point of rotation over which the thing must be balanced at lockout. And this is also a moment arm contributing to the resistance of this barbell against the muscles that move it up. What you want to do with your grip width is reduce this down as close as possible. So take your normal press grip now. Notice that on this standard bar with a 16 and a half inch flat spot in the middle of it, Chase takes a grip that is right at the edge of the knurl. Chase is a big guy and he's got no reason to take any wider a grip than this because now we have eliminated the mechanical inefficiency that that amount of leverage would produce against his shoulder during the press. My advice to you is, is to narrow your grip to the point where your hand and your shoulder are very, very close together. And I think you will immediately notice a difference in efficiency in the way you press. Thanks for watching.